tell you what led me to becoming a, uh, a teacher. And here we have to go back a little way. Uh, when I was about your age, so 16 or 17, I went to a careers master for a little bit of guidance. So the character took me into his little office, asked me what occupation I wanted to fulfill, and I told him I wanted his job. Diplomacy was never my big thing. He asked me, uh, why do you want to teach? And I told him, because you get six weeks holiday in summer. Now, it all seems a little superficial, but it's not. This was a kind of long-haired, acneed youth who had actually thought it through. I'd already thought about the fact, the two things that occurred to me. One was my experience of education at school was appalling. So I figured I couldn't do any worse than the characters who'd been around me. So I figured I might be all right at this. Uh, the second point was that I'd already worked out that there are very few jobs out there that allow you the time and the space to be able to actually move away from the job and reflect about the bigger picture and not just the detail of the daily chore. Preferably not just for self, but something that they amplify in some way to others, or they do it for others and not necessarily for self. And here we're not talking art. You know, I don't care whether the person's an artist or not. Um, no, nobody's without potential. Uh, almost everybody on the planet is visually literate. I, you know, I mean, obviously I've been teaching for a little while now, so I've been in schools all my life. Not necessarily a recommendation for a teacher, but I should know something about the places. I've met a lot of people. I've only ever met one student who I really don't, didn't see any potential in whatsoever. And that particular individual, whether it would be art or any other thing, the point that I'm trying to make is that I couldn't teach them. And I couldn't teach them because that particular individual was in a wheelchair. He was blind, he was dumb, he was deaf. So his contact with the outside reality as we know it was very minimal. And I was, it was a really humbling experience because I was embarrassed every time he left the room thinking that I've not managed to make that much impact on this character's existence. Every individual's got potential. Providing the circumstances afford that potential to grow. And we all, we've all seen, you know, circumstances where people are born into circumstances which are not conducive to education, or at least an education that's positive or formative. I don't have favourites in anything, really. Um, but I don't think we can afford favourites in the classroom. Obviously, you're going to get on with certain students better than others, and you're going to prefer a certain genre of work. Uh, I mean, everybody knows me. I wear nothing but black. So when I see something that's done graphically, that's black, that's grey, that's, that's vertical, that's horizontal, very European, I'm, it's, I'm in my comfort zone. Uh, but it doesn't mean to say it's any better than somebody else's thing that's brightly coloured or off the wall or 